Hey! Alright, I know it's been a fat minute since the last nail video. Oh, I need some intro. Welcome back, or welcome if you've never been here before. I'm gonna try not to make the intro long because I know people get frustrated about it. It's been about four weeks since I last posted a nail video, I think, because my nails were so thin because I've been doing my nails way more often for these videos. I physically could not put nails on them again. I'm actually gonna show some nail care in this video. I do a little unboxing. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling without further ado. Here's a nail video, hope you enjoy. I love you. I have not made a nail video in a while in a while. I filed them a few times, but this is pretty much how they've grown. My nails grow pretty slow. I was like cooking soup earlier and I accidentally chopped some of this nail off. This nail broke off today. The last few days I ordered a bunch of new nail stuff and I'm going to do an unboxing because why not? I'm going to put a timestamp right here. If you do not want to watch that and you want to watch me start getting into my nail process, you can go to that. But if you want to watch, then keep watching. I got a new dip powder. This brand for dip nails is so popular. I've gotten a bunch of comments from you guys telling me to test it out, so I'm definitely gonna be testing this out. I think in today's video, these are things you put on your finger. You use these to put nail polishes on them so I can stick my nail art brushes in them or my dotting tools. I got these two gel nail polishes. This is a white and this is a black. This is a red gel polish. And then I got this color. It's like a cream. I got this royal blue color. I got new nail tips because I want to test out a bunch of new nail tips because the ones I have are good, but I feel like there's just better ones out there. I got some kits of nail polishes. I got these green colors. Yeah, I think these are more like earthy tones. You know the very light pink, milky, see-through colors that you put on and then you do a French dip over? These are all different like variations of those. I got this light pink color. I got this orange color. This is another one of those milkyish pink colors. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so I actually saw a TikTok on these. Instantly went and added it to my cart on Amazon. This is a brownish one and it's so sparkly. It looks so magical in real life. It's not picking up on camera, but I'm definitely gonna be testing all of these out. One. <gasps> I don't know how it fully, fully works yet, like these pieces and stuff. I'm gonna show you how to use it later, obviously, in the tutorial, but this is a dip powder holder. So instead of dipping your finger in the dip bottle by itself, when you get a new one, it's filled, and you I always do it in an angle. Some of it pours out and you're wasting so much product. When you get one of these, you can do it at an angle and put how much you want in this, and then you can just pour it back in and you're not losing any product. I got this light blue color. Each of these were $10, and I used usually don't spend that much on nail brushes, especially each, so this is all $50, but I will say I do need a little bit better quality of nail art brushes because I, I just do. And I've never used like good quality nail art brushes, but as you can see, these are super thin. They just feel and look so much better quality. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use these. I need to buy some brush cleaner though because I really want to take good care of these. All of these are nail art brushes. I got this one to like clean up the edges. And then this is a cuticle pusher backer, but it's like a fancier one. So we might use that today as you can see my nails look really ugly right now um, They are actually a little bit stained and it's grossing me out I made sweet potatoes yesterday and when I was washing them off and stuff and chopping them off they weirdly stained my nails So now my nails look gross. I have been doing nail care for the past, I think it's been three or four weeks. So I'm going to kind of take you through what I've been doing recently. So I got this. It's a daily keratin treatment. It has keratin in it. It has other moisturizing products in it. I'm pretty sure it has jojoba oil, which is really, really good for your nails. And I've been putting this on like every night or every morning and night. And I'm telling you, it has made my nails way stronger, especially the state that they were in. I don't even know how my nails are this strong because they were so thin. It's just an oil and I put it on my cuticles and my nails and then I've been going with my cuticle oil this is probably my favorite just because it's so moisturizing I am not gonna put that on right now because I do all that at the end but I am going to do some cuticle care as in pushing them back and trimming them because these bad boys need to be pushed back like oh my gosh look at that okay I'm gonna go in with this cuticle eraser and I'm going to put that on all of my cuticles <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my cuticle pusher 
and I am going to push all of them back. cuticles are pushed back and now I'm gonna go in with my cuticle nippers. This video is sponsored by Kitsch. I've worked with Kitsch in the past and you guys already know I do not do sponsorships on my channel with brands that I am not fully behind that I have not used because I never want to sell you guys products that I genuinely do not love. If you've been a watcher on my channel you know I am obsessed with hair care recently and if you've been watching my channel consistently for the last year you probably have seen that my hair has drastically changed. I'm gonna be sharing two of my secrets with you guys. The first one is using a satin pillowcase and I'm at my boyfriend's house right now and I bring these over every single week when I come over here. I have extremely dry hair. I have combination skin so I get dry patches on my face. When I got these it has been so much better. My ends are never as dry. It doesn't dry my face out. Also it helps breakage. Another thing I've done to absolutely transform my hair to help with frizz, to help with breakage, to make my hair dry a million times faster. And on top of that it's for every single hair type is using a microfiber hair towel. I have tried microfiber hair towels from a bunch of places. The ones from Kitsch are my favorite. The other thing that I love is they have amazing cute designs and I just love that. It's just amazing. I really, really have noticed a difference in my hair, especially with it getting like puffy and frizzy. It does not do that as much anymore. If you want to purchase something from Kitsch, lucky for you guys, I have a code. All you have to do is use the code Kaylee for 20% off. 20% off your order. That's insane. Thank you, Kitsch, for sponsoring this video. I'm telling you guys, I really, really love this brand. Let's get back into the nail video. And just trim them off because there's so much. It's gonna be hard to do filming because, ow. So these are them so far. I'm gonna go in with some nail clippers and just even them out and then I'm going to file them. I am gonna put a little bit of cuticle oil on because my fingers need it really bad. is it for the nail care. Now we're actually gonna get started with the fake nails. I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol just on a little cotton pad and I'm gonna wipe down my nail to get all of the oils off because you want to dehydrate the nail before we put on the fake tips and all the dip and stuff because when there's oil and your natural oils on your nails it can make your nails pop off. It can make them not stay on as long. This is one of those steps that makes my nails stay on so much longer. I think I'm gonna take the clear one. So these are a little bit different than I've tried before they're much skinnier they have much more of a curve I'm gonna pick out all of the ones for my nail shape and set them out and then we're gonna start gluing them on I have all my nail tips set out and I'm gonna take my all-time favorite nail glue I'm gonna do no cuts and show you how fast this nail glue adheres all you need is one drop you do not need more than that Like, so quick. These nail tips are so freaking long. Oh, some of them don't fit perfectly on right here. So I'm gonna go on the edges and file them a little bit. I'm gonna take my acrylic cutters. I don't know how long I'm gonna want them. Right there. I think I'm gonna go for an almond shape today. I've been doing coffin a lot and I love coffin, but I haven't done almond in a while. I'm just gonna file these bad boys all into almond shapes. That took a million years. Whenever I do almond, it always takes so much longer. And on the less coarse side, I'm gonna go on all the nail tips and take the shine away because it helps the dip adhere to the nails better.
before I move on to dip, I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and a cotton pad again, mainly my real nail, because while you're doing this, you're touching your nails, you have oils in your fingers just naturally. By doing this, it's really making sure that there's no oil or anything on your fingernails so that the dip will adhere way better. Now we're gonna get into the dip. I'm trying to figure out this thing. There's this hole in the top under this, so I don't know if this is for like longer nails to like go in like that maybe, and then like you can just take this out, pour the dip like back into the thing. I don't quite know. Okay, I'm just gonna like wing it. Just sprinkle some dip in here so I can like dip it like that. I feel like that'll work. Kiara, Kiara, Kiara. Guy okay, dip powder and I got it in clear. Clear is just my favorite, especially because I do a lot of French tips. I like the look of the clear dip. So I have never used this dip before, so I'm excited to see how it goes. I ordered the base and activator for this dip powder, like the same brand and everything, but it did not come in time for this video. So I'm just gonna go in with the Beatles activator and base because I feel like it'll work the same. I'm gonna start off with going with my base. I'm gonna apply a few coats of the base, but I'm mainly gonna be focusing it where the apex of the nail is because that's like the stress point. I'll link down below a video where I talk about where to place it on the apex, but for now I'm just gonna be showing you because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. so far they look really ugly but that's because we haven't filed them but before we file them I'm gonna take the activator and go on every single one of my nails so they are sealed now I'm gonna go on all my nails with this file and I'm just gonna go like this and then we're gonna go in with the e-file but I like doing this first to get like the big lumps oh and I forgot to mention I'm gonna be reshaping my nails too because sometimes when you do dip you can lose the shape a little bit so I'm gonna be reshaping them too off and stuff I accidentally cut my finger like really bad over here I'm gonna go in with my e-file and I'm just gonna go along them make sure they're super even go more near the cuticle to make sure it's like seamless and there's not weird bumps and stuff I'm gonna put the activator on again just to really make sure the dip is all hardened I'm gonna go and wash my hands, but I'm gonna use this little scrubby brush that I have to get all of like the leftover dip powder and just make sure everything is off my nails before we do designs. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit more bubbles in it than usual. I feel like it's kind of impossible to not get some bubbles. There's like way more bubbles than I would like. And I don't know if that's because I use like a different brand of base with the Kiara Sky dip powder. But I don't know why it would do that, but I don't know. I applied it exactly the same like I always Always do. I'm thinking about doing like different designs on all of my nails. First step to the design is always going to be going in with a base coat. And then I cure that for about 30 seconds, wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the sticky coat. And then I'm gonna go in with a very natural pinky shade and put that on all of my nails. And then again, curing that for 30 seconds. I'm gonna take this cream shade. I'm gonna be doing this French tip design and one side is going to be cream and then I'm gonna take my dark brown and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and it's kind of like an overlapping French tip. And then on my ring finger I'm gonna be doing some swirly designs, just kind of freehanding it. And the first shade I'm going in with is that dark brown shade. And then I'm going in with the cream shade and then kind of like a caramel color. On my middle finger, I just decided to go in all with the dark brown, kind of because I couldn't think of another design to do, and I ended up really liking the dark brown in the middle, so. And then on my pointer finger, I'm going to be going in with that dark brown again, and just do some line work. I don't even know what this is called, but I love it. 
This was probably my favorite design for some reason. Also, I just have to say the new brushes that I got are absolutely amazing. On my pinky, I'm going to just be doing a plain brown French tip, but then that cream shade, I'm going to be outlining the French tip because I feel like it just adds so much more than just a plain French tip. And then I'm going to be taking my gel top coat and going on all my nails and doing a final cure for 60 seconds. I wiped down all my nails with rubbing alcohol to get rid of the sticky coat. And now I'm going to be going into some cuticle care afterwards. I'm taking like a daily keratin treatment, putting that all over my cuticle, and then some cuticle oil and just slapping that on there. Finishing off with some lotion to make sure my hands are hydrated, and I'm all done. I absolutely love how these came out, very fall. I love them so much. I haven't an almond shape in a while, and I absolutely love the almond shape. I feel like these are the best almond shapes I've done. As always, if you're new here, I do way more videos than just nail videos. I do nail videos, I do hair videos, I do makeup videos, I do vlogs. I pretty much do everything. If you like this video and you want to see more of me, you can subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, like, since you're here, you can follow my Instagram. I mean, why not? Why not? You're already here. I have it linked in the description. Like... Why not? Anyways, enough self-promo. Again, thank you to Kitch for sponsoring this video. I love you. Alright, bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. My light breaks the scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well.